Chelsea are targeting one or two attacking players in the transfer window rather than committing to a striker according to reports. The Blues currently have Nicholas Jackson and Armando Broja on their books as the only recognized strikers in the squad although the Albanian is expected to be sold this summer. Chelsea are known to be in the market for a striker to complement and compete with Nicholas Jackson who scored 14 Premier League goals in his debut season and have been strongly linked with a host of names across Europe. The Blues have had strong interest in Aston Villa's John Duran but that seems to have gone cold recently and no offer has gone in for the Colombian whilst their pursuit of Samu Omarodian appears to have hit a dead end, with Atletico Madrid reportedly rejecting three bids for the striker. Chelsea's main attacking target was Crystal Palace star Michael Olyes, but they pulled out of a deal last week because they felt the finances involved were beyond their reach, with the 22-year-old opting to join German giants Bayern Munich. Barcelona's teenage striker Marc Guiu is a target and Chelsea are believed to be in advanced discussions over a deal for the 18-year-old who has a €6 million Euro release clause, with the forward reportedly a Chelsea signing and not a Strasbourg one. Supporters are desperate for the club to bring in a striker but Simon Johnson from The Athletic has reported Chelsea haven't committed to signing a central striker. On signing a striker he said, This has always been part of the plan because Chelsea want competition for Nicholas Jackson but the club now see the aim as being a bit less specific. Chelsea are targeting one or two attacking players rather than committing to a central striker. Head coach Enzo Maresca prefers to play with just one centre-forward and there are others already in the squad who can also lead the line, such as Christopher Nkunku. Quite how this news will go down with fans remains to be seen, but it's hard to see how Chelsea can go into next season without signing a goal-scoring centre-forward to help get them back into the Champions League. Tottenham Hotspur would like to sign a centre-forward in the 2024 summer transfer window. It is fair to say that this is a logical ambition from Angie Postacogler, who missed the services of an out-and-out centre-forward in the 2023-24 campaign. It is now believed they will lock horns with Chelsea, who are interested in signing the same striker. As a club who is linked with every player under the sun, it should come as no surprise that Chelsea are yet again linked with another Tottenham target. Long story short, any transfer target linked to Chelsea should be taken with a pinch of salt. Tottenham's transfer hunt is more serious and they are in more need of a striker than Chelsea, after all. According to a report from Football Insider, Tottenham Hotspur have made contact with the representatives of Jonathan David over a potential summer transfer. The report states that Chelsea are also pushing to get the deal over the line. David is currently representing Canada at this year's Copa America. They lost their opening match against Argentina, with David unsurprisingly starting the match. Alongside Alfonso Davies, Jonathan David is one of the most important assets available to Canada. With LOSC Lille, David is entering the final year of his contract. Therefore, it is no surprise he is the talk of the transfer town at the moment. Aging at just 24 years old, David has shown he is one of the most improved strikers of the last few seasons, with an incredibly high ceiling. As the focal point at Tottenham, he could smash that ceiling. Last season, David scored 19 League One goals for LOSC as they finished fourth in League One table, unfortunately missing out on a top three race which stretched to the final day. Chelsea and Arsenal may reportedly have been handed a major boost in their rumoured transfer pursuit of Napoli striker Victor Osimhen as his asking price has fallen significantly. The Nigeria international has been a world-class performer during his time in Serie A but so far this summer he has simply looked too expensive to be considered a realistic target for most clubs. According to Calcio Mercato, Napoli were asking for around €150 million Euros for Osman, but it now seems they'd be willing to accept more like €100 million, Euros, while the report mentions Chelsea seeming like a possible destination for the 25-year-old. Arsenal have also recently been linked with Osman by Illinois Roma so it could be that the Gunners will also be one to watch now if the player's asking price truly has been cut so significant. Obviously, 100 million euros is still a lot of money, but it seems closer to a fair price for a fine centre-forward, who would likely strengthen both Chelsea and Arsenal, even if he's not quite worth the crazy money Napoli were asking for previously. With Chelsea struggling last season and once again failing to qualify for the Champions League, a big signing like Osimhen could be transformative for the Blues, 
who surely need an upgrade on inconsistent young forward Nicholas Jackson. Still, one imagines Osserman would prefer Arsenal as they'd be able to offer him Champions League football and more of a realistic shot at winning major trophies in the near future. The North London Giants aren't known for always splashing the cash on marquee signings, but they did it with Declan Rice last summer and it's surely worth considering doing so for Osserman, who would be a big upgrade on Gabriel Jesus and Edin Ketia up front, as well as more of a natural striker than Kai Havertz. Chelsea and PSG are both in the market right now to strengthen their attacks. The former are still looking for a new winger after missing out on Crystal Palace's Michael Olise, while the latter need to replace Kylian Mbappe. The World Cup winner signed for Real Madrid earlier this month after reaching the end of his contract at the Parc des Princes. Since losing the race for Olise, Chelsea have agreed a deal with Palmeiras to sign Estevio Willian, while the club have also been linked with Athletic Bilbao's Nico Williams. Chelsea will not want a repeat of what happened with Olise as they look to improve Enzo Moresca's squad. However, it could easily happen as PSG I one of their targets. According to Team Talk, Chelsea have a strong interest in Williams, but PSG see him as a potential option to replace Mbappe. Whoever signs Williams this summer will likely end up having to pay €58 million, Euros, £49 million, pounds, for his signature. The same outlet claims that the 21-year-old has a release clause of that value in his contract. A move to Stamford Bridge would see Williams link up with his Spain teammate Mark Cucurella. Cucurella finished last season as Chelsea's first choice left back. The 25-year-old was turned into an inverted fullback by Mauricio Pochettino and with Moresca also employing one during his time as Leicester City manager, it means Cucurella could retain his spot in the team. Chelsea could have quite an exciting left flank next season, then, with Williams being a very gifted winger. He has shown that at Euro 2024, with the Spain international currently completing three dribbles per game, which is the joint highest average in his squad, according to who scored, of course, there is no guarantee that Chelsea are going to land Williams, especially with PSG sniffing around. But a source has this afternoon revealed some pretty important information to court offside that Arsenal are ready to pay the €58 million Euro release clause in his contract, while Chelsea are still discussing terms with his agent trying to find a cheaper way. It's a major step ahead for the Gunners in the race to sign Williams, and it honestly feels like the end of the road for Chelsea in this particular competition. It's a shame as the winger's electric pace and direct style are a joy to watch. His technique is excellent and he could really tear up the Premier League, we think. It will be super painful if he goes to Arsenal and upgrades them.